K7 returns. K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Miss Patricia Norwood for assignment. At once, K-7. Miss Norwood reporting for assignment. Miss Norwood, I've called you because your superior, Agent Z, has disappeared. He was supposed to report to me early last evening. When he failed to appear, I checked on his movement. I find he dropped out of sight nearly 36 hours ago. I intend to investigate personally. However, since you have worked with Z, you know his methods. I want you to investigate in your own way. Call on L6 if you need help. I suggest you begin by searching Z's room. Keep me informed. Following K7's suggestion, Pat led herself into Z's hotel rooms a few minutes later. Everything looks just as it did when I was here, talking with Z day before yesterday. The telephone. I wonder... Hello? Miss Norwood? Yes. This is Miss Norwood speaking. This is L6. K-7 instructed me to meet you here. Where are you, L-6? Downstairs in the hotel lobby. Shall I wait here? Yes. Yes, I'll be down in a few minutes. Let's see. Oh, here's something in the waste paper basket. What's the note? Have lead on men who are tapping wires. Meet me at same place as yesterday. Now, this note must have come from one of these outside contacts. I wonder... Someone's trying to get in. A man. Lane. Going through Z's desk. Put up your hands. Uh, what are you, mademoiselle? I want you to answer that question. Who are you? And what are you doing here? That is my business. Don't reach for your gun. <laughs> oh! Oh! Got to stop him. Hello. Hello. Operator. A man called me. Yes, yes, a minute ago. From the lobby. Put him on. Hurry. Hello? Miss Norwood? L6. Yes. A man. His lane was was here. He's running down the stairs. Follow him. Don't let him out of your sight. He's just gone through the lobby. I'll follow him. Hello, operator. Operator, get me, get me a doctor. I'm, I'm fainting. You want a doctor, me? Hello, are you there? Hello. A few 
few hours later, as it was growing dark, the man whom Pat encountered in Z's room reported to another sinister character. His rooms are watched, so I couldn't search them. There was a girl there. She had the gun. I shot her. You are sure you got away without being followed? <laughs> she couldn't follow me. I tell you, I'm sure I hit her. Good. Good. The girl must have been Agent Z's assistant, Miss Norwood. She works with him. Ah, well, that takes care of both of them. They are out of the way. It is unfortunate you couldn't bring the girl here. Yes. Tell me, what are you going to do with the special agent? Keep him here until we have a chance to get him out of the country. All right. You can go. Meet me here with the car in two hours. I expect several important conversations tonight. We leave at nine. As the man left the building, Pat, her bandaged arm in a sling, waited outside. With her was L6. There's the man coming out of the building now. Can you see him? He's in the shadow. It's him. It's the lame man. Seize him. Uh, uh, take your hands off me. Uh, uh, what do you want? Who are you? Hold him. I'll get his gun. He's not going to get a chance to use it this time. You! You're here? Yes. Yes, I'm very much here. Your shot hit me in the arm. All right, L6. Take him to K7 for questioning. I'm going in and search this building. Pat knew there was some link between the lame man and Z. Even though injured, she was determined to follow the lead at once. She entered the darkened building. It was one of the older office buildings of the city. No lights in here. I wish I had a flashlight with me. Hmm? Nothing on this floor. All the offices are dark. Uh, perhaps upstairs. darker here than it was below. There's a light under the door at the end of the hall. Huh? There must be someone... There is someone in there. He's gone into the next office. Well, perhaps this door... It's unlocked. Let me have a glass of water. There I go. <laughs> so, you are thirsty, Mr. Special Agent, eh? <laughs> it uh, might interest you to know that the girl who works with you was shot this afternoon. Uh, if you shot Pat... Ah, you don't like that so well, do you? Are you telling <laughs> me the truth? It was an unfortunate affair. Limpy went to your rooms to search them... He surprised her there. Harrigan, if anything has happened to Pat, you'll face the firing squad. I'll see to that. Mm, you forget. You are my prisoner. Don't try to move. Pat, look out! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I am sorry I had to knock the gun out of your hands, mademoiselle. Pat, Pat, are you all right? She seems to have only her left arm free to use. The man you call Limpy thought of that. Yes, he told me. He will be interested to know that his bullet struck your arm. Pat, you shouldn't have come here alone, not with one arm bandaged. And I, mademoiselle, am interested to know how you found this place. I followed Limpy. His shot only grazed my arm. I followed him here and then went to a doctor. I see. Such bravery should be rewarded. Perhaps it will be later. <laughs> now, turn around. I am forced to tie you up. Don't. My arm. And if you hurt her, I... Put up your hands, Farrago. You're under arrest. Who are you? I said put your hands up. Take his gun, Miss Norwood. I've got it, K-7. 
Untie Agent Z. Colonel, first take the ropes off my wrists, Pat. They're loose. I've been working on them. All right. Uh, there, they're coming. Uh, that does it. Uh, feels good to get them off. I'll untie my ankles. Pat, how bad is that arm of yours? Not bad, Z. It's a flesh wound. Now, Z, who is this man Farrago? What is his game? Tapping telephone lines, K-7. He taps the long-distance telephone lines between several nations and listens to the diplomats talk. Then he sells the information he hears. His biggest business has been between two closely associated nations. Neither of these countries trusts the other. Farragut listens to the instructions each send to their diplomats in the democracies and reports to the other. I followed my lead to this building and was trapped. Coincidentally, he's been double-crossing both of them. I have not acted against this country. You have no charge to place against me. No serious charge. You are a spy, Farrago, and here spies face the firing squad. Look out. He's edging toward the door. You won't take me. Agent Z reporting, K-7. I've just returned from the hospital. Farrago will live. He's under police guard. Limpy, the man who worked with him, has signed a complete confession. In it, he swears that Farragut has spied against this country. There's enough evidence to convict him. The case is closed. It is a known fact that in these days of unrest in Europe, telephone lines between nations are consistently tapped those who rule by force and intrigue have many secrets to guard, lest their own people and the world learn of their injustice. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. Mm-hmm.